My name is Arlo, I'm in Kii, Texas, and I'm going to try a trick. And that is to put a live brown recluse spider and a live black widow spider simultaneously on my hand for two minutes. Yes, one million of us have watched Arlo get a thrill from holding two of the most dangerous spiders in North America on his fingertips. But just how deadly are these spiders? If he's bitten by a brown recluse, he could suffer from generalized itching, fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, or shock, and that's if he's lucky. If he's not lucky, he could suffer from necrosis, which is tissue death. The venom is also hemolytic, which means it breaks down your red blood cells, which can lead to kidney failure and even death. And the famous black widow? What kind of damage can it do? If you get just a little bite and a little bit of venom, you might just feel a stabbing pain, but if you get enough venom, the venom actually contains a neurotoxin that interferes with your muscle's ability to relax. And depending on the site of the bite and the amount of venom that's introduced to the body, uh, we could have some really severe effects here, especially if a bite affects the muscles of the respiratory system, where we actually stop breathing, potentially suffocate. That's an extreme case, but it is possible. Yes, Arlo is taking a huge risk, so why aren't the spiders attacking him? Most spider bites are caused by accident. If a spider happens to become lodged in your clothes or the body gets squeezed and they're basically acting out of self-defense. To make absolutely sure that these spiders don't end up squished in his clothes, Arlo has his hands sticking out of some water, which is a great idea because the spiders are going to stay on his hand and not run into the folds of his clothing. Well, there you go. Proof that spiders aren't evil or deadly. Unless, of course, they think you are. A spider has no reason to bite a big human. What's it going to do, eat us?